Hello everyone, welcome to another video about slangs. This is going to be the ninth video about slangs and we're going to learn a couple of slangs here in this video, okay? The first one is, I was about to plus verb. Again, it's a very useful slang. You can use it uh, a lot in your daily life. I was about to. So you are about to do something, okay? For example, you're thinking about calling your friend or your family member, maybe your mother or your father, and suddenly, suddenly, while you are thinking to call them, they call you, okay? So you, you pick up the call, you greet them, like you say hello or whatever, and then you, you can use this slang. You can say, I was about to call you, but you called me first, okay? And another uh, time or another example, if I include, for example, you're getting ready to go outside to maybe your office or to your school and someone just, you know, come into your house, okay? And uh, he or she wants to talk with you about something. So you can say, I was about to leave, okay? So you're about to do something. When setting, look at the description, sorry. When setting, I was about to, you're informing someone that you're going to be doing something at all, uh, uh, sorry, at that moment or in the very near future. So when you are using, I was about to plus verb, you are informing someone that you're going to be doing something at that moment or in the ne very near future, okay? So let's look at the, some examples. Here are some examples. I was about to go out. I was about to eat dinner. Uh, you see, this is a kind of Chinese dish you see here in this picture, okay? Next. I was about to go to bed, okay? If you're about to sleep or if you're about to go to bed and someone calls you, this actually happens with me or very often when I was in China. So that's why I wrote this example here. I was about to go to bed. I was about to go to work. So as you see these people, they are going to work. I was about to say the same thing, okay? Yes, I was about to call you. I was about to send an email. I was about to mow my grass. As you see, this boy, he's mowing his grass. Again, okay, next. I was about to order some drinks. I was about to watch television. I was about to start the class. Okay. I was about to start studying. I was about to cook. As you see, this person in this uh, picture. I think it's a woman, I'm not really sure, but whoever the person is, is about to cook. I was about to call you. So again, it's a very useful slang. I hope you use it a lot in your daily life. Okay. I was about to do something. You're going to do, you, you're going to do something in the near future or at that moment. Okay. Next one. I didn't mean to plus verb. It's a very useful slang too. I didn't mean to plus verb. You need it a lot because something you say but the other person is now angry with you because of what you have said, okay? Or accidentally you have said something wrong. So there you can say, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to say this, okay? So it's a very useful slang. Use it well. Look at the description. The word didn't is the contraction of the words did not. When using it in a sentence with the words mean to, you are informing someone that you did something you regret or are sorry for. This could have been a physical, mental, or verbal action. So, as we see in the description, it means that you're informing someone that you did something you regret or you're sorry for, okay? Now, let's look at some examples to understand it in a better way. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, okay? I didn't mean to call you so late, okay? I didn't mean to lie about what happened. I didn't mean to stay out so late. I didn't mean to say those things, okay? Again, in all these examples, you are showing your regret or you are saying that you're sorry for whatever has happened. It could have been either a physical a mental or a verbal action, whatever it is, okay? Look at the next example. I didn't mean to leave you out. I didn't mean to make you confused. 
like in the lectures uh, this is whenever I'm having lectures with my students so sometimes they get confused like uh, I think a couple of days ago when I was having a class about IELTS writing test 2 and the lecture was about task achievement I saw many confused faces in my class so I use this slang over there I use this uh, phrase over there and I said I didn't mean to I didn't mean to make you confused okay I didn't mean to think you were involved next I didn't mean to cause trouble I didn't mean to disturb you okay so here this is again a very useful slang you can use it in your daily life conversation and I hope you have no issue no problem to use these examples if you have then make sure to write your query in the comment section and I'll be replying to your questions as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself and also your families. Bye-bye.